Hello everyone, welcome back to Lecture 7, Countries of the World this time. Uh, we're going to have a look at some country names and a couple of questions talking about countries as well. Bear with me, this one is slightly different format. Um, there's going to be quite a lot of slides but it shouldn't take too long just because there's only one uh, name per slide. So bear with me, fairly short lecture, uh, we'll skip through it as uh, leisurely as we can. Thank you. So, Le Monde. That's our word for the world. Le monde. Les pays. Les pays. That's our word there for countries. Les continents. Quite handy this, if you're talking about where you're from. Les continents. And now we'll just have a look at some uh, countries. There could be quite a lot of countries. So, as I say, bear with me. Uh, it's not going to be relative to everybody, but always handy if you're going to be talking about the world of people. So please stick with me uh, and chat out loud as well, I find that helps. To say what continent our country is in, we put on before it. So we would say we're from uh, Great Britain, so nous venons de Grand Bretagne, and then we would say en Europe, so in Europe, en Europe. So if we look, uh, we'll work our way from the left, Amérique du Nord, Amérique du Nord as our North America. Below that we have Amérique Centrale. Amérique Centrale. Further down, Amérique du Sud. Amérique du Sud, South America. Very good uh, use of what we learned previously on the North, South and Middle there. Afrique. Afrique. Above that we have Europe. Europe, Asie, Asie, this covers the whole of Asia, Oceanie, on the bottom right, Oceanie, and Australie, Australie, L'Angleterre, L'Angleterre, for people who are maybe not keen on uh, flags there, we've got England, L'Ecosse, L'Ecosse, Scotland, Les Pays de Galles, Les Pays de Galles is Wales, L'Irlande, L'Irlande, Ireland, Le Royaume-Uni, that's our collective of the four countries we've just seen, Le Royaume-Uni, the, uh, uh, the United Kingdom, Les États-Unis, Les États-Unis, which we looked at before, which is the United States. Le Canada. Le Canada is Canada. Le Mexique. Le Mexique. Handy if you're heading uh, on holiday, you want to talk about it. Le Brésil. Le Brésil. Excellent for next year's, uh, well, it depends what year you're watching this, I suppose, but excellent for the 2014 Olympics. Le Brésil. La France, la France, for me, the main place I'd use all of this language. L'Espagne, we've seen a couple of these before as well. L'Espagne, l'Allemagne, l'Allemagne, that's Germany. L'Italie, l'Italie, is Italy. La Russie, la Russie. Something that's been in the news a lot recently. I want to talk about that. La Russie. La Suisse. La Suisse. Excuse me for clicking along a little bit too quick there. La Grèce. La Grèce is Greece. L'Autriche. L'Autriche is Austria. Le Portugal. Le Portugal. L'Australie, l'Australie, la Nouvelle-Zélande, la Nouvelle-Zélande, la Chine, is China, la Chine, that's easy one to remember that, le Japon, le Japon, again, Japan, looks very, very similar, another great cognate. So how do we talk about our country? Underneath is a 
fairly straightforward, I uh, wouldn't call it a script, but it's very straightforward things that might come up in conversation. So to start at the top we have De quel pays venez-vous? There's our reflexive again with the hyphen. De quel pays venez-vous? What country are you from? So that's venez-vous, obviously there being quite formal again. We could have viens-tu, viens-tu, if we wanted to do it for a less formal format. Underneath, je viens de, je viens de, plus pays, plus country. I come from, plus our country. Mon pays, underneath, mon pays est grand or petit. So my country is big or small. Grand is big, petit, small. Mon pays est grand or mon pays est petit. Underneath that again we have un pays en Europe or un pays européen. Un pays en Europe or next to that un pays européen. So underneath as you can say a European country. Underneath un pays hors de l'Europe. Un pays Hors de l'Europe. And that we can use to say a country outside of Europe, which is obviously quite useful for people who don't live in Europe or are talking about a country that's not in Europe. Un pays en Amérique du Nord, so a North American country. Thank you for sticking with me on that one. I know that one was a little bit more labour intensive. But I shall see you in the next lecture, bright and breezy. Have fun, go back over it as always, try and memorise what you can memorise. And uh, I shall see you, as I say, in the next lecture. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.